You know, uh, I really like their academics and it, and it, uh, it's really what I want to study. And I like their team, their winning program. They're really good at what they do, and uh, just like the coaching staff and all the players that I've met so far. Okay. And uh, what do you think that you can? Uh, what would you like to bring to their program? You know, I like to bring a lot of uh, uh, enthusiasm, um, friendship. Hope to build a lot of friends, and you know, I like how to um, work with the team more. Okay, um, I guess um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anything else you'd like to say? Uh, you know, I couldn't have done anything without my coaches and my teammates and all and my family throughout the sport. Um, uh, with my two uh, ACL surgeries, you know, it's been a, a long ride, and I'm glad that I've got this scholarship. Cool. Can I just kind of elaborate on that? Because just, what, six, seven quarters this, this last fall uh, for you? Just, just kind of talk about emotionally just, just dealing with, with all that. And, you, know, yeah. you can't play when you... When you you know, can't play a sport, you know you love to play. Yeah, um, having to sit on the sidelines throughout my senior year was definitely no fun. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just wanted to work hard to get back and be able to play next year, and it was definitely a long ride. Mm -hmm. uh, you go through the coaching change, um, especially senior year specifically. How was, how was that to go through, and what would, would that kind of teach you? Yeah, um, uh, coaching change senior year about two weeks in the mm -hmm. or right, two right around two a days. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a big change, and you know you have to adapt, and then um, to be able to communicate well and know everything of his system is uh, definitely a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, as an athlete and a basketball player out there, how's uh, you know being a multi-sport athlete kind of helped you? Um, Physically, to kind of kind of get to this point where um, you're choosing one over the other. Well, be playing basketball, I, um, it was good to be back mm -hmm. and be able to do something again. But I would definitely think I'm a better football player, and uh, yeah. Um, I guess uh, you know if you could just talk a little bit of uh, St. Francis. Uh, you know, you, you chose that. Did it have anything to do with like the proximity, how close it is? Uh, yeah, it definitely did. You know, I'll be staying at home, so hopefully I'll cut some costs. And uh, I like uh, how my wide receiver coach actually went there, and he, that kind of had a big impact on me as well. Uh, talk about him and what he's uh, meant to you and in, in your development as a wide receiver. Yeah, he's definitely made me the person that I am now, and. Uh, he just showed me everything that he knows, and hopefully that will transfer into St. Francis where he went. If there's something about, um, you know, Carroll Athletics, Carroll Football, Carroll Basketball that, um, you know, you, you, you've learned that, uh, you know, you'll take with you and you hope will translate well on the next level, what, uh, what would you say that would be? I've definitely learned, uh, learned to be a great team player. Um, no, not being able to be very selfish is, you know, it's what – keeps his team together and what his uh, team strives for mm -hmm. for their goals. Was uh, was playing basketball collegiately ever a thought or was it uh, football uh, all the way? It was definitely football.